Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the BMW 335D and we're going to be diagnosing it with this device. And this is supposed to be an easy to use OBD2 device for the BMWs. Now in the past on this channel I have used the BMW software Inpo with a Windows laptop, but I'm giving this device to my dad and I think that these are much easier to use. So I'm gonna try it out and see what it's like. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is make sure that the car is on and then plug in this device. We want the red light solid and the blue light flashing. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect. So we're in the app right now. We're gonna hit connect. So connected to the car now. Now it's processing the vehicle data generating vehicle insights. Okay, so now I'm ready to start. And you can see that on the screen recording. The first thing that we're gonna do is the health check. Now right now it says the BMW health status is good. I can hit this check for issues down here at the bottom to check out the car's issues. Now recently I serviced the brake systems, the headlights, I put new HID lights in and new daytime running lamps. And if you see my first scan here, if we go back in the history, of the health in the top right corner, you can see that all of those issues were stored in the computer. So I cleared everything now, and now the car is healthy. And I've since fixed those issues, but what's really cool about this app is how easy it was to use and how easy it was to clear those codes after I fixed the issues in the car. Now going back, the other thing that we can do is a used car check. So with the used car check, I can come in here and continue to car check. I've already scanned the car. It takes a while to complete this check. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you what it showed me when I scanned this car. It showed the VIN from the ignition, the VIN from the lights, and the VIN from the engine, and everything matched here, which is good. It also showed me the mileage of the car. The current mileage is 86,929.18 miles. And that is a good result. The vehicle mileage is typical for similar cars. Then we also have the average speed. The average speed here is about 16 miles per hour. And that shows you that this car was mostly for commuting, going through traffic basically. Now down here we have the build date from the engine, March 12th, 2010. And this is interesting because this car was built, or actually this car was delivered in December of 2010. We picked this up in Germany in December of 2010. So. Now I go back here. Now, if I wanted to scan the car for a used car check, I would hit this button here. And to read this car again, I can click this lower left button to do the read again. Uh, and it runs through this menu, but it takes a while, so I'm not gonna do it on this video. So we'll go back here. Let's go back to programming the car. Let's go to customization. Unlock and code hidden features. So let's see what we can do with this BMW 335D, continue to coding. It's checking what sort of options I can do with this car, what things I can program, especially for the 335D. All right, so let's see what we can do. Okay, so comfort start, comfort eject, comfort close using remote, comfort close using key locks, comfort folding for side view mirrors. So let's program the mirrors. When holding the lock, unlock button on the remote, the side view mirrors automatically fold, unfold. So let's try this out. What about power windows? So we're gonna program the car right now. I'm gonna start the car because I probably drained the battery. Let's go ahead and start it. Okay, so we're gonna code the car. Okay. Now it is writing to the ECU right now. So 
All right, we're gonna shut the car off. So the mirrors now automatically fold when you lock the car. Now when I unlock the car, the mirrors will fold out like that. Now you guys know that on the BMWs you can also hold down the open button to open up all the windows. This will also open up the sunroof. So with the Carly app, I also programmed in the lock button to close everything. So watch this, I'll hold the lock button down now. You notice everything closes and the mirrors fold up. So there you are. That is very cool. I'm very impressed with that little device. I'm gonna be giving it to my dad because this is his car and uh, I'm sure he'll have a ton of fun playing with uh, programming his car and, and whatever features he wants to do. Who knows if he wants these features programmed that I put in the car. He can change it back. I don't care, it's his car. So. I'm very excited about that device. It wasn't super expensive and it was a ton of fun and very easy to use. That is all I have for you on the BMW 335D. Thank you guys for watching and make sure that you enjoy your car.